and now flirting with disaster. Hey, what's going on guys? This is Vaughn with the Pilot Business and today I wanted to um, show y'all this post that I put into the private Facebook group we have as it relates to the Pilot Business course, right? So, um, these two gentlemen that you see right here were these two guys, the Florida man, still 25 semi-trailers, $704,000 worth of wooden pilots. Uh, it was an article that was on Fox 13 News, and I kind of want to share it with y'all. Uh, like, I, I shared it with my students, too. You know, I basically said, this is crazy. This is what we will not do, you know. And actually, this guy is the owner of a pilot company. So, we want to, um, this is the article right here. So basically, these two men, um, one is the owner of a pilot business. This guy, uh, Nicholas Nigel Howard, is the, I want to say he was the man on-site manager at JCI Pilots. But they have been allegedly, uh, they have been accused of, 20, of stealing 25 semi-trailers with $704,000 worth of wooden pallets inside of each trailer. Oh, wait, in, not inside of each trailer, inside of the trailers altogether. And so I share this in our fa private Facebook group, right? Because we're not going to, we don't operate like that. We, you know, we stolen property, man, that's, that's something hard uh, to do as a legitimate business. Like if you're legitimate, if you are a legitimate business, then there are, there is no need for you to be stealing um, anything that doesn't belong to you, right? So, and, you know, and it's crazy because the guy is, uh, the Bobby John Herrera Jr. is actually the owner of JCI Pilots. And so basically the summer story of, he was driving his company's 2015 Freightliner semi-truck onto both, uh, into both facilities and he illegally removed semi-trucks filled with pilots. These stolen trucks were waiting to be delivered to other distribution centers and businesses, detectives said. And, you know, something that I want to touch on, right? Um, you know, you, you want to be mindful when you come out here. I know a lot of people say a lot of things. And, you know, I, I'm a firm believer in, you know, ensuring that um, you do things properly by the book. You know, um, that's, just, that's just what I teach over here. But the, the the funny thing is that the uh, Bobby John Herrera had got hired by one of the companies that he stole pallets from. He's supposed to be making delivery at the place where he stole the pallets from, right? So, and what ended up happening was he uh, fraudulently, um, he committed fraud by falsifying documents, right? So, you know, for those of you that are in the trucking company, uh, I mean, those of you that are in the trucking industry, you know, you know, you're dealing with them, those, uh, <laughs> them documents, man, them things are, um, they're federal, they're federal documents because you're dealing with freight as you, as you drive on roads. So, um, it's just certain things like e even local law enforcement, certain things that they can't do, you know, it's certain like they got to get U.S. Marshals to, to crack a seal and to go up in your truck. They just can't stop a tractor trailer and run up in their truck. That's how serious this game is. So, you know, if those of you that, you know, you want to get in this business, you want to play hard, you know, you want to play ball with the big boys. If you do not know these things, right, you will go to jail. Now, I'm going to tell you this because I told y'all that I told y'all in the video yesterday about the scavenger dude that I know locally that got locked up. And he at, honestly, too, in his head, he thought he was doing the right thing. But like I told y'all, I don't push my business practices off on anyone. You know what I'm saying? My processes are my processes. You know what I'm saying? But however, you know, um, I saw a dude and I, I mean, I can't tell anybody how to run their business. You know what I'm saying? It's their business. You, your balls, right? But he ended up getting locked up behind him because of the way that he was doing his business. And so did these guys here. But I want to read this, this statement that was given by the local sheriff, right? And so basically, the sheriff is Grady Judd. 
And in a statement, it said, my detectives, in partnership with the Plant City Police Department, did an outstanding job investigating this organized crime enterprise. This type of theft negatively impacts the consumer when businesses have to raise costs to account for this type of loss. We will work hard to make sure Herrera and Howard are held accountable for these cargo thefts. They won't have the opportunity to steal while they are in prison. Listen to me, prison. Nobody wants to go to prison behind picking up some pallets, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's crazy. I don't even care if it's seven hundred, $4,000. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, this JCI pallet. So, we're going to go over here. Let me, because I got this thing. This is their pallet yard, right? Now, don't this look familiar? Don't this look like the type of things you see on other pallet courses, right? You know, those dudes who go behind stores and they pick up pallets and they can show you a thousand, they can show you for a thousand dollars how to pick up these pallets, right? And here they are. They got a location, right? They got a yard. It's like, it, it may be a couple of acres. I'm not sure. Look, they got trailers of trash pallets everywhere. Now, this is what it looks like when you're unorganized as a business. When you're unorganized as a business, what it looks like, right? Now, now, I'm going to tell you, automatically, you already know that there's no website, there's no processes in place. They just got this right here. We buy pilots, open at 7.30, 4.30, Monday through Friday, right? No phone, well, they got a, I, the numbers fell off of this sign, but they on this sign. You know what I'm saying? This is just a horrible way to do business, man. Like, you know, I mean, you can look at this, this place right here until it's literally a dump. It's just a dump of pilots, man. But, you know, um... I mean, it's just, you know, when you go out there and you start stealing pallets and doing things like that and you improperly or you don't properly run your business correctly, um, you'll get in these situations right here. So, you know, I just want y'all to know that you can go to prison playing with these pallets. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You can. So this is Vaughn with the pallet business. I ain't going to hold y'all here too much, man. I'm out here. Peace.